Yeah, Granny Sharp, it's good to good to have you here. Thanks for for tuning in. Uh, my youngest son ostracized me from his life four years ago because I won't agree with his lifestyle. I never rejected him. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, that's hard. See, these these are realities that that we live in now. We, the rubber meets the road. It gets real real quick, and um, you know, you just keep praying uh, for him. You keep praying for. Uh, for him to know the truth, keep praying for your relationship to be restored. Uh, always seek uh, to to get an inroad. You know, never turn your back. Be there. Let make sure that he knows. Uh, however, you can if you're able, that you'll always be there. You'll always love him, uh, no matter what his ideas are. So, so it, it, it's important to be able to have that conversation. We can't always. It sounds like you maybe weren't able to have this kind of conversation with him, where you, where you can explain. You can say, "Hey, I love you, no matter what." I just disagree with what you're doing. And if you're able to explain it and, and say, well, this, this, this plays out in every area of life. I mean, raising kids. I mean, I don't agree with everything my kids do. I don't ever agree with everything my wife does, but I love them unconditionally. Like I'm, I always tell my, my kids, you know, I'm going to love you no matter what, no matter what decisions you make. I don't like them maybe. And so the little things that make sense and that's not a problem. But when we start talking about um, you know, sexuality issues, gender issues. And then what, what I think the problem is here, why, where, where the rub is, is that these things are identity issues. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, people, the, the, your grandson may, is most likely saying that he's identifying as X, Y, or Z. And that's where they're placing their value, their meaning, and their worth. And so when they get confronted with, no, that's not true, it's not just the ideology that we're confronting. There's, it's deeper. It's deeper than that because their very identity is tied to how they're identifying. And, and that can be hard. So anyways, I'm sorry to hear that, Granny Sharp. Um, but, but at the same time, guys, I mean, we never, um, we never sacrifice truth. At, on the altar of relationship. And I know you think like as you're watching this, this is hard. Uh, this might be easy for me to say, well, no, my worldview has cost me some some very dear, good relationships. Um, and that's what we do. You know, I mean, that's that's just the the nature of it. And uh, and we trust we trust God with that. So uh, stay strong, Granny Sharp. Uh, keep training uh, your grandkids as much as you can. Keep in touch with your uh, children as much as you can and try to sow into them. So 